Hey guys, this is Chris from Electrified Garage. Today we're going to talk about the different type of door handles that have been used in Model S over the years. Since the beginning, Tesla Model S door handles have always been a failure prone item and they've been changed over the years, but they all still fail for various reasons. Here we have a Gen 1 handle. Gen 1 handles use a pressure sensor to sense when you pull on the grip of the handle to unlatch the door. This pressure sensor is very prone to failure. Most Gen 1 handles do not have any part number on them. The ribbon cable is the best way to identify them. Here we have a Gen 2 handle. Gen 2 handles substituted a micro switch instead of the pressure sensor. Because the micro switches are now on a moving linkage, the stiff wire and brittle insulation tends to break or crack. This allows in moisture and causes corrosion to happen. The wire eventually builds up high resistance or breaks off. Here we have a Gen 2.5 handle. These had a new handle housing, but the same design for the micro switches and paddle gear. The main benefit was that the handle's housing was no longer specific to front or rear doors. It was now only side specific from left to right. The door shells mounting studs physically changed to accommodate the new style handle. If an older car has a door replaced, it needs to be updated to the newer handle housing. The 2.0 version will not bolt up to the newer style doors. The control modules are still location specific, so a left front handle couldn't be used as a left rear handle, even though it would physically bolt up. They've also integrated a plastic vapor barrier instead of a plastic sheet with butyl adhesive. This was done because the butyl would eventually fall away from the handle and catch on the window glass. All versions 1, 2, and 2.5 have a cast paddle gear, and the ears of the gear break off of the shaft, causing the door handle to no longer present. Here we have a Gen 3 handle. Gen 3 handles came in cars made after July 24th, 2017. This design deleted the micro switches in favor of a Hall effect sensor, a new exterior control module, and an updated paddle gear. However, the paddle gear was still made of cast metal. The handle also loses its initialization and requires a reset from Tesla service. The module seems to be the weakest link with this design. You can see there's a different motor, there's a different control module, now there's a Hall effect sensor instead of micro switches. The majority of people have either a Gen 2 or 2.5 handle. For those cars and those common failure items, we've designed our own replacement parts. This is a direct plug and play harness that uses the OE Panasonic switches. It has rubber molded ends to ensure that they're waterproof and no corrosion and that the wires don't break. And the wire itself is a heavier gauge braided wire and a silicone insulation to make it nice and flexible. We've also designed a stainless steel paddle gear replacement. It's significantly stronger than the cast piece and it won't rust or corrode because it's made of stainless. Hopefully now you can visually identify the differences in each type of door handle and understand which one will fit your car and which one won't fit your car. Thanks for watching and don't forget to like, share, and subscribe.